So we're here in Tiananmen Square, which is in the heart of Beijing, marking the 100 years, 1921 to 2021, the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. This is the first major celebration that's taken place since the pandemic. When we got here, we had to go through two COVID tests within the space of about 24 hours and lots of temperature checks, lots of other COVID-related measures. The party wants to show to the country and to the world that it has achieved uh, so much on behalf of the Chinese people. So the Chinese economy has grown spectacularly, but there's also been huge improvements to quality of life, health, life expectancy, infrastructure, science and technology. But it's also a celebration, of course, of President Xi Jinping, who has been in power since 2012. And he has a very clear uh, goal, which is to secure uh, China's national security and ensure its place in the world. So in his speech, which lasted roughly one hour, President Xi Jinping covered a number of topics, many of them familiar, including the pledge to achieve a moderately prosperous society. One of the main things that he did discuss was the reaffirmation of socialism for China and how China will continue to follow the path of Marxism, but in a way that's adapted to the needs of the Chinese society. Uh, a common theme that came up several times was the rejuvenation of China as a nation. And he called on young people to play their part to commit to the growth of China in the future. One thing he did say quite clearly was a, a, a very clear signal to foreign forces who may be tempted to interfere with China's internal affairs. He said anybody that tries to do that will be met with a great wall of steel of China's 1.4 billion people. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.